Hi, this is Gloria Coppola from Massage Pro CE. Join me for some teaching tips and tools for those of you that are new to the teaching profession in massage or those of you that just need a little support and encouragement. Hi, this is Gloria Coppola from Massage Pro CE with another teaching tip for you today. Okay, so you've got your class going, you start out, things are looking really good. You get a few weeks into it, everybody's starting to get a little bit more comfortable with their environment and the setting, but you notice something happening. You're noticing that Sally and Susie are always pairing off, or you notice that there's a few of them that just always do their exchanges together, but they don't exchange with anybody else, and they don't study with anybody else. What are you going to do about that? Well, you need to make sure that every one of your students gets to exchange with everybody. Why? Because they need to work on different body types, number one, okay? And they need to avoid that click. Remember those clicks in high school we didn't like? Well, we don't want them in massage school either. We're supposed to be very compassionate beings. We're supposed to be opening up into a healing profession where we don't judge others. So it's also your responsibility as an instructor to set up that environment with your class. I like to do it in the beginning. I like to be honest and open and get the group to know each other and to find out and watch and observe who's going to have an issue with each other. Okay? And how can I, perhaps as an instructor, bring them together? Or perhaps have a team captain and see what they can come up with. Okay? So remember, don't allow for your students to just stay in their certain groups. Mix them up when they're exchanging. Also, if you do projects, Look at the students that always stay together, separate them and put them in different teams for different projects. Let them get to know each other. They might actually find out they like some of these other people and know, find out things about them they didn't know and say, hey, you know what? They're really cool. Or they found a way to teach me something during this study group that I couldn't get on my own. So now they develop a friendship. So pay attention to what's happening in your classroom. Avoid that separation. Find ways to bring them together, encourage them to partner off, work with each other, and study together. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, contact me at massageproce at gmail.com.